Hello photographers and welcome to my channel. Today in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to create a pinhole look in Silver FX Pro 3. Now it's pretty simple because they already have a preset ready. So I'm going to use that preset first and I'm going to fine tune it in my own way. So at least you can take some idea out of it. So it should be pretty easy and straightforward. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create Take a photo first. So I've got a bunch of lists here. So I'm going to drag and drop one of them on my software. Go to the full screen mode and find the preset from the preset look. So usually that should be in vintage. Uh, should be at the very, very, very end. And there you go. Now you already have a pinhole look ready beautiful and fantastic and pinhole if you know what is pinhole back in the day um you even now today you can put a color sensitive photo uh, film in the container or even a paper and make a little hole make sure it's completely airtight and leave it outside and you take a photo that generally takes a photo just like that kind of imperfect but works in a very good way. And I personally love it a lot. So what I'm going to do, you know, as much as I love that look, so I want to emphasize more the animals. I'm gonna show you side by side. The animals on the floor and take down some, you know, highlight from the sky. Um, that's kind of my way. Obviously, in the real life, pinhole, you cannot really much control it. Uh, is going to work uh, just the way it's supposed to be. Uh, that's the beauty of it because, you know, at the end result, it's always exciting, sometimes in a good way, sometimes in a bad way. So I'm going to go to the selective adjustment, put a control point on the sky, make it as big as possible, and check out if it's uh, focusing on the sky by clicking that, and you can see that. You know, it's kind of affecting the whole area. I don't want that. I just want it on the sky. So I'm going to go to the color sensitivity and play with the luminance and play with the color. Let's see what is going on. And that's fine. And now I can make the, the round selection even bigger. I can still see a little bit on the ship. So I'm just going to fine tune a little bit more. There you go. Now it should be fine. And now I'm going to play with amplify whites and I will reduce white. And didn't do much. I'm going to reduce the brightness and see if it's working for me too. As much as I can. And maybe amplify black if it helps me. Yeah, amplify black it working just to get rid of the vignette maybe reduce highlights too boom so that looks pretty good now i'm going to add another control point on the ships make it as big as i can and point it in one of the ship now click to see the mask play with the luminous channel and see the chrominance helping me a little bit so that i don't want too much on the mountain as i want as much as i can masking on the ship so that's going to be challenging let's see if it's helping me at all in any way hi there you go now it's working not all over the ship yes but it's much better than everywhere in the mountain and now let's see if it's i can fine tune it even more Luminance, there you go. Now, much better. I mean, it's not perfect, but you know, close enough to where I want it to be. Now I can add some uh, shadow. Now it's making it look way too weird. Um, maybe some clear view, add some brightness, amplify black, fine structure, and that should be enough i don't want to make it look way too weird and then i'm going to go all the way to the top and add some dynamic contrast globally 
Oh, sorry. Dynamic contrast, I said, not dynamic brightness. My goodness. So I'm going to go to this structure, add more structure, add even more fine structure, and that should be enough. Now I'm going to go before and after. So that's our previous photo, and that's after fine tuning our pinhole look before and after. I hope you find this video very useful. If so, please do like and subscribe. And I see you in future videos. Bye-bye.